Why do people care so much about Biden's age but not Trump's? Biden just looks and acts more like a typical old man. Not saying Trump is the picture of good health, but he's a much more animated individual said it masks. The obvious old man signs. If he wasn't as loud and obnoxious as he is, he would appear more his age. They're both declining but it's just not as apparent in one as it is in the other. Because on the list of reasons why Trump is a terrible choice for president, his age doesn't even crack the top 10. Both of them shouldn't be running. Gods know that America deserves better choices than we get when it comes to election time. Old guy. Here. I care about both of their ages. They are both too old. Emo. It is time for the younger generations to take hold of the reins. This is their time. Now. Edit. There's sure a lot of stupid answers to this not so stupid question in these comments. Bunch of savages in this thread. It's a joke that Trump called Biden old and senile because of his age at the previous run for presidency and now he has the same age. The absolute biggest joke is that the US is not able to produce more vital younger president candidates that are in the prime of their lives. Because that was a talking point the media outlets really pushed. And visually Biden looks far older although there is only three years difference between the two. Trump tries very very hard to look younger. With his ridiculous hair. Pretty sure he even dyes his hair. And seems to always have a fake tan. People definitely talked about Trump's age too. He's just not president right now so it ain't a current big talking point. There was a very good interview with James Fallows on NPR's On The Media podcast recently. Wherein he pointed out that there's always something wrong with one presidential candidate or another. They may be too establishment or too much an outsider. They may be too old. They may be too young. And that's going to be because every president is going to be judged against some theoretical. And I'd argue impossible. Ideal. In some ways, this is what's going on with President Biden. He's old, the oldest president to serve. But there's no indication, yet, that his age is actually inhibiting his service. Despite what conservative media is desperate for you to believe, he's a little slower in speech, a little slower in thought, and a little slower in movement. But the president need not be quick to any of those things. His job is to listen to advisors, carefully weigh his options, and choose wisely. In some sense, older can be better. Another thing that's happening is that the media is trying desperately not to appear too partisan. And to some extent, so are voters who like to think of themselves as independent-minded. Donald Trump is mired in the objectively worst scandals in American presidential history. No president has ever before been accused of attempting to overturn an election result by violence. No president has ever before stolen classified documents, hidden them intentionally from authorities, doubled down when caught red-handed, and proudly displayed them for members of the public who were in no way authorized to see them. In some way, Biden's too old is a way of sounding dispassionate about Donald Trump. A way of allowing one to pretend that both sides are bad. Biden displays more signs of old age. I care more about Trump's autocratic aims than I do about his age. But I care about how many people running our country are at such an advanced age that they are most likely out of touch with younger generations needs. Which includes both of them. I think all politicians should be forced to retire when they're 75. As somebody else said, the Senate is just a giant nursing home. Not sure where you've heard that. I heard that they're both too old and I 100% agree. I would also add that I think most of Congress is too old and they all need to be flushed down the drain. 
Career politicians are garbage. Across the board. Because he has more glaring problems and also doesn't carry himself as an old man. They should both be disqualified for age. 70 should be the maximum age at which you can run for office. It's the only major complaint the smooth brains can come up with. He doesn't pay off porn stars while collecting campaign money. Deliberately hide classified documents after being asked to return them. Or try to overturn the results of democratic elections. They're both too freaking old. So is most of Congress. Millennials make up the majority of the US population but the silent generation. 19,321,945. And the boomers. 1946-1964. Make up the majority of the Senate and the House. It's time to pass the torch and let the younger generations lead this country. Because there's nothing in his policies or behavior to worry about. Because the worst thing about Biden is his age. Whereas with Trump there are far more worse things to talk about. Republicans are always projecting. They want to plant that Biden is too old for his job. Despite Biden's energetic work ethic and his long list of achievements. Meanwhile they are putting up a fat lazy old man who looks and acts far older than biden the press had a field day over biden falling off his bike but the fact is that biden regularly bikes trump's rump hasn't seen a bicycle seat in decades his preferred exercise is a riding a golf cart because if someone wants to find fault with trump they have plenty of real issues to bring up they don't have to manufacture an issue like Trump supporters do when they try to take a swipe at Biden. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.